Okay, now we're going to go ahead and get in the cab of the excavator. So we're going to maintain three points of contact as we climb up in here. So, so I want to go over the main controls for the excavator. So you've got your joysticks left and right. This controls your swing, your boom, your stick, your bucket curl. The pedals on the floor, these do your crawler tracks. And then over here, this is a foot rest, but if you flip this up, this is the control for the swing boom to swing your boom from left to right on the excavator. Under the armrest, you've got the key switch under here. So just flip that over, put your key in, and then that will start the machine. You also have your seat belt. Uh, if you're doing any high rail work at all, Make sure you've got your seat belt fastened before you take off with the excavator. On the right side here, we've got our throttle right here for engine throttle. This is, this used to be the control for the blade that came with the machine. This is now used to control the high rail gear for raising it up and down on that. So go over some of the switches here on the right side. This is your regen for your diesel particulate filter. This is your lights, your windshield wipers, windshield washers, your auto idle. You can select power mode, eco mode. Of course, we always put it into power mode. On the auxiliary here, we actually took control of that so you don't have to use the auxiliary. This is your heavy lift function if you want a little extra boom power for lifting, uh, lifting objects with the excavator. This is the switch for your beacon. And then a couple switches we added back here. Um, number one is the quick coupler. So when you're wanting to change out attachments, you pull down on the red tab, push it forward. That will actually unlock. And then you flip it back and it will lock the coupler on the roto tilt. This switch back here is your tracks and high rail. So when it's flipped forward, you're actually running your crawler tracks. When you flip it back, that diverts the oil from the crawler tracks to the high rail gear and will actually propel you on the, on the rails. This switch, you can select whether you want to raise or lower your front or your rear gear. So just select, like there, we'll select the rear. And then when we move this handle, this will actually raise and lower the gear. If we push it down all the way until it bottoms out, it will actually send oil to the rail clamps and actually have the rail clamps come down and clamp to the rail. Uh, again, those shutoffs that are in the drive boxes, if you shut that off, when you hold that down, that will keep your rail clamps from coming down if you don't want them to. And then on the back here, we have a travel alarm. If you have that enabled anytime you crawl or move the machine on the high rail it will actually enable the travel alarm and it will stay on the whole time that you're moving if you disable it anytime you move it'll beep about three times and then it'll stop so if you were going to tram five miles to the next town you want to have that disabled so that it's not beeping the whole entire time that you're traveling. But if you're working in a gang where you've got people around you, tight quarters, put it to enable so that anytime you move that machine, you'll actually get the, get the backup alarm and notify anybody working close to you. This is our roto tilt speed control. This actually controls the speed of the rotation and the tilt and the open and close for the roto tilt unit. So this knob will actually go down to zero and it'll go all the way up to 999. Usually between about 400 and 800, you can get really good fine control of it. So the higher you go, the faster it'll rotate or tilt. The slower you, lower you go, it'll actually, slower it'll actually rotate and tilt. So as an operator, you can actually select the speed that you want it to turn and move and work at whatever you're comfortable with. 